Safety first, safety always. Wood chipper safety. Brought to you by the Utility Arborists Association and sponsored by Hub International. Many years ago, removal of trees was done primarily through the use of handsaws and axes. But through the years, the tools of the trade have advanced and now include high-powered machinery like chainsaws and wood chippers. While these tools help us get the job done faster and easier than before, they also bring about new safety concerns. When it comes to wood chippers, they have become a useful, if not essential, tool for many arborists in the field. But with machines as powerful as these, accidents can happen. And when they do, they can be very serious or even fatal. Remember, it's important not to be lured into a false sense of security by the slower speed of the chipper's visible feed wheels. While these wheels can pull in objects at a steady 14 miles per hour, the greatest danger comes from the machine's much faster spinning internal drum or cutting disc. These hidden internal components can spin between 1600 to 2000 RPMs, and any object like a rope wire or cord grabbed by the drum or cutting disc can move toward the chipper at a speed greater than 114 miles per hour and that's far too fast for someone to take action even activating the chippers last chance cable will not stop something or someone from being pulled into the machine once a rope wire or cord reaches the internal drum and disc. That's why it's critical to always exercise caution when operating a wood chipper. Now, let's check in with our arborists, Carmen and Alex. Today, they're preparing to use their own wood chipper at a project site. But before they begin, Carmen and Alex know to follow these Three steps to chipper safety. Step one, wear proper equipment. Carmen and Alex know proper chipper safety begins with wearing <laughs> proper equipment. Jewelry, loose clothing with strings, pockets and holes, chaps, climbing harnesses, and other serious snagging hazards pose as a huge threat to being pulled into the chipper. They know to remove any items that could become snagged from their body and uniform ahead of time. They also know that wood chippers are among the loudest machines in the field, so both Carmen and Alex make sure to put on hearing protection, in addition to their safety glasses and hard hat. And if gloves are worn, Carmen and Alex know to never wear loose-fitting or gauntlet-style gloves. Step 2. Properly ready the material for chipper feeding. Items such as cans, bottles, fencing, rope, wire, vines, and rocks can all cause severe injury to operators or permanently damage the equipment if fed into the machine. Carmen and Alex know to look for and remove anything of the sort from the feeding pile. They also know to set up any climbing and equipment operation involving ropes or tie-in straps a good distance from the chipper. Prepping the cutting and staging of brush will also help prevent major accidents. Carmen and Alex know that large or unusually shaped branches can turn unexpectedly when hitting the feed wheels, risking pulling them onto the feed table so they make sure all pieces are cut small. 
Harmon and Alex stack the debris pile from largest to smallest, with the smallest branches on top. Step 3. Feed the chipper in a safe, circular path. After inspecting for foreign objects, Carmen and Alex feed the branches, butt end first, as straight as possible to avoid the wood violently reacting. Carmen and Alex notice a out of the line of fire when feeding brush and operating the machine's controls. They never feed the machine from directly behind the feed table. Instead, always feeding from the side to avoid being accidentally dragged into the chipper. Carmen and Alex keep their hands and other body parts away from all moving parts or pinch points of the machine and never go beyond the chipper curtain or near its feed rollers. In this example, we see Alex feed brush, then continue moving forward and to the right away from the chipper. Alex will use a push stick or larger branch to feed smaller pieces into the feed wheels. Carmen and Alex also know that rakings should never be fed into the chipper, as gravel or other material can be swept up and projected out at people or cause internal damage to the feed wheels and knives. When they're finished feeding the machine, Carmen and Alex then make sure to follow all manufacturer's instructions to safely shut down the wood chipper. So, when out on a work site and preparing to use a wood chipper, be careful, be like Carmen and Alex, and always follow these three steps to chipper safety. Wear proper safety equipment and clothing with nothing loose that can be caught on brush. Ready material for chipper feeding, cutting small pieces and removing debris such as wires, rope, fencing, and vines. Feed the chipper in a safe, circular path. For more information about wood chipper safety, contact the manufacturer or contact a member of the UAA Safety Committee. And remember, safety first, safety always.